Good morning. Welcome to worship this day as we gather this first Sunday Advent to celebrate, to prepare ourselves for God coming down to us. So prepare yourself. Our Advent journey starts today. I want to call your attention to some announcement. Um, there's a sign-up sheet for the Advent Bible study. I think Judy will be passing that, so you can sign up. We'll start on the, on Thursday, the 7th, 4.30, with a soup, with soup. Uh, and also we have an Ad Council meeting. And we, again, just follow along with the announcement in your bulletin. Any other announcement that is not in the bulletin that we need to make today? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us greet one another by passing the love of Christ and peace of Christ. Hanging of the greens. And those who are taller are hanging them up. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be taller. I used to be taller, but it's different. I'm going to take them out of the Good morning. Good morning, Pam. Uh, later, you can write your address for me, so I'll come and see Glenn sometime this week. Oh, okay. I need your okay. address, okay? Don't come tomorrow, because you've got all these therapists. Yeah, 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 no, yeah just sometime, okay? okay? Thank you. See you Wednesday night. I'll talk to you, okay? This is very interesting. You got it? Yeah. All right. stand as you are able uh, for the time of worship and let us sing come thou alone expect Jesus as we start our journey in this Advent season Desire of every 
Ne you for the call to worship. Keep awake, stay alert. The kingdom of God is near. Give us a sign of the birth of Emmanuel, one who refused the evil and choose the good, a child of promise. God has given us a sign. God is doing so many marvelous things. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our redemption is drawing near. We are God's partners in hope. I want to invite Mary and Jeff to come forward as we light the first candle of hope to remember God came to give us hope. And as they light the candle, please follow along with the reading. As we light this first Advent candle, the candle of hope, may we in hope, witnesses to the promise that hope is coming. It is being born into the world. Now for the unison opening prayer. Holy God, grant us grace, grant us grace in this season of Advent. Of Advent. Okay, okay, let us start that over, okay? okay. Let's start over, just start reading it, and we will fall. read this one, okay? Read this one, we'll read this oh, one, okay? okay. Let, we'll start over, okay? We'll start, go back, go back to this, okay, yes, then we'll start over, okay? As we light this first Advent candle, the candle of hope, may we be partners in hope, witnesses to the promise that hope is coming. It is being born into the world. Come, Lord Jesus. And now the unison opening prayer. Holy God, God, grant us grace in this season of Advent, for you are the master father, and we are the clay. Shape us and mold us to respond to your will for our lives. Forgive us, Lord, for not seeing your presence around us, and help us to turn our lives to you, that we may be ready when your son is born among us, and with Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. I invite you for this first scripture reading. And Liz will do this first scripture reading from the book of Isaiah 64. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down, so that the mountains would quake at your presence. As when fire kindles brushwood, and the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries, so that the nations might tremble at your presence. When you did awesome deeds that we did not expect, you came down, the mountains quaked at your presence. From ages past, no one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you, who works for those who wait for him. You meet those who gladly do right, those who remember you in your ways. But you were angry, and we sinned, because you hid yourself, we transgressed. We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a filthy cloth. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. 
There is no one who calls on your name or attempts to take hold of you, for you have hidden your, fa your face from us and have delivered us into the hand of our iniquity. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our father, we are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. Now consider, we all are all your people. This is God's words for God's people. Thanks be to God. I want to invite the young disciples to come forward, please. Come on, guys. I want you to come. Here, yeah, come. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. Look, look behind you. See, did, did you did some of the hanging of the greens? So so beautiful. Okay. Today I wanted to talk to you about hope. Today we we'll light the candle, the first Advent candle. And it's about hope. Okay. When you think about hope, what what is it that you think about? You say every day, I hope it does not snow tomorrow. I hope it does snow tomorrow. Okay, so I say, I hope it does snow. So what, what, you, what do you think? What is hope? The opposite of no. Okay. Hope. What is hope? You hope for food, okay, we all hope to get to get food, you know. But when we talk about hope, if, you know, when the Bible talk about hope, it's, it means you you have a trust, you have, you are for sure, is sure that nothing would stop that. And so the people of Israel, the God's people, they've been longing for, for a Messiah, you know, and God said he was sent Jesus to come to give us hope. So Jesus is our hope, okay? Because Jesus is the one that our Savior working to save us. So when you think about the, the Christmas tree, okay, all the decoration, so I see, the, did, you, did you see the sign of the cross? You see this one? This one, you see the different crosses and everything. It's, yeah, it's a reminder of God's love for all of us. So today, as we start this um, preparation for Christmas, let us be reminded that God loved each of us. And he came to give us hope. So, have you have a wish list for Christmas? No. Yeah. Not yet. Okay, so you have to work on it. You have to talk to your parents. Be careful now, okay? okay? So, so, and part of your wish list, you might, you know, ask G, add Jesus on that wish list, okay? Okay. Let us pray, and when you repeat after me, dear Jesus, dear Jesus help, us help us to prepare our hearts, prepare our hearts for, Christmas. for Christmas. In your name, we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Be careful. Be careful. This is the time where we present our gift to Almighty God. Thank you for your support. Uh, I encourage you. We continue to receive pledges. If you have not turned in your pledge, you are. We have to continue to do that through the end of this year. And please stand as we bring our gift forward, tithe and offering.
us pray together. God of all goodness and grace, receive the gift we offer and grant our whole life may be given glory and praise in this season of Advent. Grant us the spirit of grace and thanksgiving that we may love generously and seek your kingdom. Amen. Please be seated. It's an opportunity for us as a church family to share our joys and concerns. What are your joys and concerns today? You guys are quiet today. <laughs> I'll say something. Um, we had the field uh, paper test. It wasn't passed around, but it was out there in order poinsettias. And I talked to Sunnybrook yesterday, and they only had, and it didn't get passed around. So I think a lot of people didn't get signed up. We only have five or six of us in order. So Frank and I would generously, we want to get like, you could get around 10. So they're $21 a piece. So if anybody wants one, um, let me know or ring me and I'll talk to Deb. And at least we have 10 fresh ones would be nice to decorate the church. So, and then I'll take care of that this week. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, the Dugger Ready Church, make it beautiful for Christmas. Okay. Uh, Terry? Well, I we, Linda and I had the opportunity to go to Christmas Carolyn with the Rock Ranch people last night. We had a great time. So, Pastor Harold was with us, and uh, we went to Sioux City, went to, to uh, Sunrise Manor, went to Whispering Creek, went to Kingsley Care Center, so it was a great time. Wonderful. And continue for prayer, prayer for my wife. She, she's not well, so she, God will help her to recover. And give thanks to Janice. Janice is preaching this morning at the Rock Branch Church. So I'm um, um, praise God for that. <coughs> Any other joys and concerns? <coughs> Pam? Update on Glenn. Um, he's, he did get home the day before Thanksgiving. So he is home and um, he is receiving in-home um, rehab for the next eight weeks, and then um, if, he need, if he needs it, which I'm sure he will, he'll graduate to rehab probably in town or at Juno. So, um, you know, it seems to be getting a little stronger every day, so it's, it's encouraging, but it's a slow process. So thank you all for your prayers and concerns and um, expressions of kindness. So we'll be seeing you. Praise God. We'll continue to pray for Glenn as he starts continuing with therapy. That God will continue giving strength and, and to, to heal and recover. Let us sing this song as a way to prepare our heart. Change my heart, O oh God. And just continue to be in your seat and reflect on this song. That part of the Advent journey is that God will renew our hearts as we welcome our Savior again into this world. We're going to do this one twice through.
Let us pray. Almighty God, this is our heart desire that you will change our hearts. We want to be like Jesus Christ, oh God. We pray that your blessing and grace will be upon us as we start this journey of Advent. That we will have time to pause and wonder of the mystery of you coming to our world to be our Savior. We give thanks. May you prepare our hearts, O oh God, and help us in all the business of life towards Christmas. May we get ready. May we open our hearts and experience your transforming love. Change our hearts, our desire to seek after you. We pray, O oh God, for your blessing on our church family, for each person here today, and for those who are now with us, or those who will be watching our service later, that your blessing and grace will be with them. We pray for those who are not well, that your healing hands will be with them. May you help my wife, Ebony, continue to give her strength to recover, and thank you for the blessings of the connection of church and, and, and Janice preaching today in, at Rock Branch, bless the, the church there in Rock Branch and, and our church here, oh God, with all the planning preparation for Christmas, our Advent studies, the choir and everything else, may you continue to bless our ministry. We, we ask for your continued strength and healing. For Glenn, we give thanks that he is home, that you pray for the therapist and all who will work with him. I pray for your wife, Pam, and, and the family. You will support them as they take this day by day. And I pray that he will make progress. Your spirit will lift him in his, in, his, in his spirit, that he will continue to be encouraged. And we trust for his recovery. We pray for others in the hospital, others who are recovering, others who are feeling wounded, and others who have problems or issues or decisions to make. I pray you, you will continue to watch over us with your love. We ask for your blessing on our community. We pray for your mercy and healing of our world. Pray for the people of Israel and in Gaza, the refugees, those who were hurt in the war, oh God, we ask for mercy for this war to cease. We ask for mercy for all the hostages to be released. Have mercy in our region, oh God, for those who are working towards peace, our leaders, that you will guide in, in towards this challenge. This is our prayer, oh God, as we, we come to the table today to receive your grace. Help us guide us, renew us in following you. In the name of Christ, our Savior, we pray with thanksgiving. Let God's people say amen. 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 Come Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns lonely exile year until the Son of God appeared. Please stand, let us sing together in preparation for the preaching of the word of God. O come, O come, Emmanuel.
be seated. This is the second reading of the word of the Lord. Mark 13, 24 through 26, 32 through 33, and verse 37. But in those days after that suffering, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the son of man coming in clouds with great power and glory. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the son, but only the father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. And what I say to you, I say to all, Keep awake. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing to you, O God, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Do you love to wait? Speak to me today, folks. No. Do you love to wait? We struggle to wait. Yes. When it's too long, we, we, we are anxious. We, we want it now. We live in the culture that want it now. And yet, sometimes we have to wait in the way we wait. If you were to go to the hospital, you have to wait. And your name is called. You're filling all the paperwork. If the doctor were to say, I will call you for your results, and after two, three days, you are anxious, you want to get the result now. And we struggle to wait, don't we all? What is the, our health results, or what is family? We are welcoming to the airport, or what is, is I can't wait for school to be over for this year for the kids, and oh, wait for Christmas. And yet, we are called to wait. To wait with active participation and, and the Advent journey invite us to wait on the one we've been longing for, the Messiah, the people of Israel, they, they were waiting, they were longing. When would this happen? And this is a glance and picture. But yet, look all around you. Look now, our world is in turmoil. The, the brokenness and the pain. Look in the Middle East. Look at Israel where we remember the Savior was born. They are on high alert and the war is going on. <laughs> Folks, we are all in a town of anxiousness. I don't know about you, but I will find myself very anxious, and I, and I was waiting to see my wife's reaction. I, I remember one day I was cooking at home and when we lived in Kentucky. I was multitasking. I was watching football at the same time I was cooking. <laughs> and, and, and I was enjoying the game. And I forgot that I had something on the stove. And sooner or later, the fire alarm went out and I said, oh, it dawned on me that my, I blew it. They smoked and, and I said, oh my gosh, the whole place was smelling. I said, oh my. And I felt miserable about myself. And I opened the door and, and tried to get the air out, but yet, I caused damage already. I blew a screw up everything in that way. My food, I was cooking everything just wrong. I cleaned up man, and I was waiting, waiting to see what my wife would say. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Have you been there before? Yes. <laughs> the reaction and Oh, okay. This is the picture of our world. 
We are all in trouble. We are broken. We need a Savior. And Jesus came just in time to show us, to give us hope. So we are waiting for the one who will give us hope. The what Isaiah say, oh God, we pray that you will tear open the heaven and show that you will come down to us. And show your glory. And in the Mark Gospel, it talk about the day will come, the place will be dark, and the, the, the Son of Man will come to us. And yet, when the second coming of Jesus, we are called to be ready, to be alert, to be awakened as we prepare this season to celebrate the birth of our Savior. Knowing we are all in need of grace, knowing that we are broken people, we, but yet we have hope. And the while, like the, Isaiah said, with everything going on, with, 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 with God coming to show us his plan, because we have fallen short of his glory to be our Savior. Isaiah in a, chapter 64 talks about our relationship, that God is the Father, that, that, that we, we, we are the porter, God is the clay, he was, He is molding us, he, he is bringing us to himself, he is shaping our lives and things in our life we don't like. And so we pray and we sing, change my heart, oh God, may it be true. For you are the porter, we are the clay. Today, what are you waiting for? What are we waiting for? But the good news is our waiting is not in vain. The good news is the Savior, the long Messiah Savior, the people of Israel are longing for. In God's time, he came to earth and showed us his mercy. So we wait, but yet we are called to be alert. For we have an enemy who steal our joy away. We are called to be alert to anticipate the wonder of God coming to us. Emmanuel, God is with us. That Christ will be born anew in our hearts in the midst of the brokenness and the pain and problems of our world. We can look and trust the Savior has come and want to renew us and heal us. So we gave ourselves today. So I invite you as you come to the communion table today to receive God's grace. And ask yourself, what is in you that you want for God to work on as we look forward to Christmas? For God knows us and know all about us. He, see, I then invite us that we did not get it right. We were all broken, and but yet God came just in time to show for God is looking for those who feel the need of mercy. And, and so that's what we're saying. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Come. May God come anew in our hearts. For when we wait, our waiting is not in vain. We wait in hope and trusting that the one who is faithful has come. And knows all our needs. And so we surround ourselves today. May God help us. Thanks be to God. Father, we pray for your grace. As we start this journey of Advent. With the business, may we, may we ponder. May we give ourselves fully to your coming. Heal our hearts, heal our, give us strength and renew our commitment to follow you. And look forward to the great celebration that you came to us. So hear us today and bless us in the name of Christ, our Emmanuel. Amen. As we prepare for communion. I invite you to, to please stand. Stand knowing that you and I, we need God's grace. Please stand for the great thanksgiving that God, merciful God, will help us. Let us pray. 
Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray, and free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of God, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We will lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <laughs> it is right and a good and a joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join the ending hymn. you and blessed is your son Jesus Christ. By your mercy we were far away but you came to show us love because your love endures forever. By your mercy we needed a savior. You came just in time to show us your mercy. So oh come oh come Emmanuel and be our savior. The Bible say on the night in which Jesus Christ gave himself for us our dear Savior left his glory. He took the bread. He gave thanks to his Father in heaven and broke the bread and gave it to his disciple and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of the Savior. When the supper was over, our dear Savior, he took the cup, the cup of mercy, the cup of grace. He gave thanks to his Father in heaven and said to the disciples, they take and drink from this. All of you, this is the blood of the new covenant. Pour or for you and for me and for many for the forgiveness of the sin. So as often we do this, we remember what Christ has done. And so in remembering of these, your mighty as in Jesus Christ, O oh God, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is dying. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. So I pray, Father, that you will pour your Holy Spirit on us, gather ye, and on these give a bread and cup. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes and find the victory, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your Holy Church, Church. All honor and glory is your almighty Father, now and forevermore. Amen. With confidence and faith, let us pray the Lord's Prayer, trusting that we have a forgiving God, his mercy and the words forever. So we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the Lord is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please be seated. And as we prepare to come forward to receive communion, you know, when my wife came home, when I say I was in trouble. Yes, indeed, I was in trouble, but she gave me grace. She forgave me, and I learned my lesson. Never to multitask when I'm cooking. <laughs> so now, you and I, we have been given grace. So let's come and celebrate the goodness and mercy of God as we journey through this season of Advent. Those who come in to help, please come forward, and I invite you to come and receive communion today.
Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this great mystery. We have partake of your grace. Renew us as we go through this season of Advent and preparation for Christmas. We thank you for coming to our world to be our Savior. Strengthen us in the power of your Spirit to be a people of grace and mercy and anticipation and joyful as we wait for Christmas. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Our God is faithful and we can trust in his promises. Please stand, let us sing together. Standing on the promises, our closing hymn.
standing on the promises of God. Amen. We are standing on the promises of God. Thank you so much. I trust you have been blessed today. Our journey has started towards Christmas. May God bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you and renew you. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Amen. Bless you.